the imagined Le Leviathan Progog. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> Okie dokie. Here I am. Uh, oh, I see some lines. Where do they go? Okay, well, oh, I see trees. Let's go towards these trees then. Probably should have gone towards the house that I saw, but, you know. Oh, I can crouch. You're freezing to death. Collect sticks with left click. Okie dokie. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, it must be pretty cold out here because can't see a darn thing. Click kindling with right click. Oh, I've got two hands. Nice. Uh. Uh. What's the sound on the floor? The seas are rising, said teacher. Life, inscribe on the henge. Okay. I've shown a map of 30 years from now. What? My house, the school, everywhere I play, all marked as you should. The seas are rising, said teacher. It's because we burn black corpse to eat red corpse milk. I get to cry as mortal fear overcame me. I can't hear you. Daddy letting this happen. The wind's too loud. My father asked what I'd learned that day. I hesitated only briefly before answering. Nothing. I want my kindling back. Ooh, I've got footprints. Venture out into the void. Which way? Why did I throw it? Come back. I can't tell if I'm facing up or not. Let's just do a little turn around. Okay, yeah, I was facing too far up. And again. Well, let's keep going in a straight line. Keep moving. Well, I... Yeah, I am. Hey, here we go. A fence. Lovely, and some twiggies. Let's pick up these twiglets. I guess I can't. I can't pick up both. Hmm. <laughs> I'm struggling here. Do 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 do. Hey, get moving. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm on a hill. Ooh. Right. Well, I guess I'm gonna go. Oh, there's a church. Is that a church? Yeah, it must be a church. And then there's something over there. Let's just check out this rock a second, and then. I'll head towards what I think is a church. Head to the henge? Yeah? Can I jump? I can jump! Quite a big one! That is lovely. Right. Well, it asked me to head to the henge and then it didn't do anything beyond that. So I'm going to go towards what I believe to be a church. And then we'll go... Hang on, get off me. What is this? What am I stuck on? What's happening? Did I break the game? There we go. Is there just an invisible wall? What am I meant to do? Enter? Let me... Oh, God. Head to Henge. Yeah, let me go. 
Why? Why for yes? Alrighty then. I just want to go down to the church. Am I going this time? I think it must be. Although, I have no clue. Ah, oh, things are getting closer. I don't know why it asked me about that though, because I couldn't do anything. Ah, oh. Oh, well I've lost everything now. Oh, I was just looking up. Okay. I can't see the church that I wanted to go to though. All I can see is that windmill. Windmill? Is it a windmill? It's not milling anything. Wind turbine. Turbine? What are those things? What are they called? Wind thingies that people think make noises. But they don't. I assume. Uh alright. Well. Just entirely snowblind right now. Oh, I see some kind of landscape here. There's power cables? Yes! My time in Japan has taught me well. Wait, are these power cables? Apparently not. Okay, my time in Japan has not taught me well enough. Right, well, I found a hole in the wall. Which is just lovely. Am I dying? Way There's a man! Hey buddy! I think I'm dying. Can you help me? Oh, that was a weird noise. Oh, yeah, I guess I died. John Connor. That's an unfortunate name. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's restart because I feel like I uh, died instead of completed the game. This time, I'll go towards the door. Take a final look around the camper van. Your eyes get your eyes graze over a month's worth of bean tins, chocolate wrappers, scraped out peanut butter jars. There should have been an and somewhere in there. All of it emptied. This place has sustained you, but it's time to move on. You think about what comes next. I need to be with people. I got to find more food. I should probably find somewhere less exposed. Food? Ooh, the size of the type has changed. You've known for a while that this day was coming in such sparse, sparse, <laughs> sparse conditions. The little gold mine of non-perishables you found here weren't going to last long. Enough is enough. You'd rather face the snow than starvation. You step back outside into the unending blizzard and close the camper van door. You sigh, adjust your mittens, and look to the nearest few trees. Onwards. Okay, well I think there's something next to this camper van though. No, guess not. But there is a twig. Let's pick that guy up. And let's get jiggy with it. You're freezing to death. Collect sticks. As if that is the cure to freezing to death, is having some sticks. I wish I could jump this high. How often do I jump though? Maybe maybe I can jump that high. Buh. 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 Nice. Right, let's see if I can just go this way. What is this thing? Okay, no matter no matter which way in the void you walk, you end up at the same place. That is fair enough. That is how I would have designed this as well. Oh, I'm gonna take these sticky poos. Sticky poo. Nice. Why did I say that? 
This game is just revealing all the horrible <laughs> bits of dust on my TV screen. Just gonna follow this fence as far as it can take me, which is here apparently. Okay, start a fire from scratch. Look for a stick. I've got a stick, buddy. Oh, I guess the other time... Need fire. I guess the other time I just, uh, messed up. Is this a fire pit? No, it's just sticks and rocks. You're freezing. Get moving. I'm, I'm trying. But there's no fire pit to, uh, sate my thirst of warmth. <laughs> Does one thirst for warmth? What do you... What do you say when you require warmth? Can you sate a need for uh, warmth? Or can you only sate hunger and thirsts? Although no, you slake a thirst. Do you, you sate an appetite, right? And you slake a thirst. That sounds right. But what do you do when you need warmth? What is the need of warmth? Need of nourishment is, you know, hunger and, and, and thirst. But what about... Why is it telling me to look for a stick still? I've got plenty! I just need a place to put them. Don't give me this you're dying crap. I've got sticks. Uh, what is this thing? It's a leaf. Okay. We were distraught when he was dying on Everest. But after a year of using the real life was getting good for. Okay, well, I died. I, I don't know why I would have died. Because, you know, I just <laughs> I went directly to the point. One more try. I, there's got to be some way. What is the term for needing warmth? Okay, I'm just getting the meaning of warmth, which is not what I need, because I know what warmth means. I want to know what to say when you need warmth. Why can I crouch? But I can't run. Why can I jump? But I can't run. Get me I am getting moving. I just, you know, I'm so lost. <sighs> Okie dokie. Well, let's get going. Oh, my W finger is getting tired. Bye bye, lighter. Hello, stick. Okie dokie. Okay, once I get over here, it's going to say, head to the henge. Uh, yeah, head to the henge. Lead me to your henge. Oh, did I lose my fence? There it is. Okay, sorry, I looked away for a bit because, uh... There wasn't really anything to see. Is that a dead cat? No, nope, just some rocks. Oh my god. Start fire, look for a stick. Okay, well I'm going to pick up the first stick I see this time and hopefully the game might like spawn something for me because I didn't pick up a stick last time because I already had some. Some objects have special action. Hold mouse button to start a fire. Hold stick... Hold s stick mouse button. What does that mean? What does hold stick... I don't know where my... fucking... fire is either though. Is this it? Hang on. Just a bit more fuel, eh? Just a bit more... come on. It's not fair that it made me lose the fucking stuff that I picked up. Oh, come on. Yeah, I definitely can't find where my fucking fire is anymore. Is this it? 
Maybe? Ready for a spark. Okay. Oh! Okay, well that's just Nikon. Well, I guess I'm gonna keep... Nah. I guess I'm gonna keep that with me. So, in this tutorial section, it tells you that there needs to be a fire pit. And then later, it turns out you can just build your own fucking fire. So, that's, that's bad design. That's bad design. You shouldn't do that. Okay, well I can't see that fucking twig that I just put down. Like it's it's fine to abruptly change the rules of game play. Uh, like if there's a reason and you've already pre-established like the fundamentals of the game, and it, it you know like it's fine to change it if it doesn't just mean that you're gonna die instantly. Like if you don't notice that the rules have changed. You know, like it's it's just it's bad. <laughs> it's bad to tell people one thing one second. Okay, well I got all the fuel I can. And then suddenly change your mind about it without saying anything. So it's fine to go for a minimalist uh aesthetic, but would be good to know a bit sooner like when I'm going to die because basically as soon as I can see the vignettes around the screen it just means that I'm dead basically that there's not gonna be enough time for me to build a fire in that time so you know for example I'm, I'm just gonna build a fire now because I don't, I don't know when the vignettes are gonna pop up again oh fuck off oh come on oh What was that? Ooh. Okay. Giant tentacles, maybe? <laughs> or maybe it is the Aurora Borealis. I forgot what the name of the, uh... The Southern Borealis is. Not Southern Borealis, because Borealis means Northern. The, uh, Southern Aurora is... Ooh, this looks like a big, sick dog. Oh no, it's the hole in the wall that I found before. Lovely. That's great, I can't see the fire. Is it here? What? Where's my fire? Alright, well, great. I guess I'm just gonna die. Yeah, just gonna die because there's no more sticks apparently. Great. Oh, it's a gnome of sorts. Okay. Fine. Whoa! Oh, that's annoying. I can see a giant fire off in the distance. According to the sign outside, this gatehouse is the visitor es entrance to Castlebury Estate. The masonry and door are hundreds of years old, made shiny and slightly rounded by the touch of thousands of visitors. You kick the snowdrift away from the door's base and pull it open towards you. Immediately inside, there's a steep, narrow spiral stone staircase. Halfway up, you hear a scratching sound ahead. It stops after a few seconds. There's something or somebody already here. Keep moving carefully. You soften your footfalls, move slowly, never able to see more than a meter or so ahead due to the tight spiral. When you reach the top, you stand for a moment peering at unreadable shapes through the ice-covered glass of another door. You extend a mittened hand and gently push it open. The moment the door begins to move, there's a sudden commotion inside the room, a fluttering squawk. Oh, good timing. 
As you enter, you just catch the tail end of a blackbird scarpering through a broken window. You're stood in what used to be a tea room. Doilies flap Amos aimlessly in the breeze from the window. The space is filled with dainty tables and chairs, some of which have been hacked to bits. And there's an ash, and there's an ashy pile of blackened, half-burned furniture where somebody got warm. Below a bunting draped oil painting of a pastoral scene, someone has scrawled a message on the back of the table menu and sellotaped it up to the wall. Join us at the Henge. Everyone is welcome. On the floor below the message, you spy a box of matches, half full. Were they left here as a gift for travellers? Take a few matches. You take a few, a couple of matches, the text size changed again, leaving some for other travellers. Given that this place lacks food or company, you move on. A few moments later, you're back down the spiral stairs, emerging inside the arc of the gatehouse. I have a feeling that as soon as I end this dialogue, I'm going to die, because it did the noise. Maybe I broke the game. I can see the smoke from a fire over that. Yep.